Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to make sure to um, get something out there for everyone, uh, whether it's adults or children um, who are suffering with autism on the autism spectrum uh, or look after someone as well with autism. If I sound down, I am. <laughs> And I apologize if that shows through in this tutorial in any way, shape, or form. Because I do want this to be beautiful. And I want this to be uh, a piece of artwork that others can choose to paint. If they were at all offended by my puzzle piece design that I created. There is a whole lot of... Um, sadness in my heart at the moment for the way I've been treated over my puzzle piece for autism awareness. Um, I was not aware that most adult autistic uh, people do not like or use the puzzle piece um, for what it was originally represented, um, which is the charity Autism Speaks. And the idea that people with autism have something missing. And this is coming from one of the people who are harassing me on social media. Um, the one preferred symbol I've been told is the rainbow colored infinity symbol, which represents neurodiversity. Um, my puzzle piece stone in no way represents anyone missing anything. Um, my puzzle piece represents everyone fits together, no matter what they are dealing with. Everyone fits together, and it's a struggle, but we all fit together beautifully, and we are all loved. And I had no ill intentions or malicious intent in any way uh, when I created that piece. Um, the thing that upsets me the most, and I'm going to try and do this without crying, is that I open up my Instagram after working on this infinity symbol that I'm creating in front of you right now. Because I didn't want to upset anyone. I wanted to make sure everyone is included when it comes to my artwork. Uh, and those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know this, right? You know I'm trying to just spread love. That's all I'm trying to do. So I open up my Instagram and I see my stone on someone else's post with hurtful words and ignorant, ignorant things to say about me and a great big X through my artwork on the post. And it broke my heart. Um, no joke. It broke my heart. And I'm usually someone who, you know, laughs about the thumbs down. And I don't understand the thumbs down. Um, but thank you for viewing it and letting me know how you feel. But um, the words and the meanness that come out of people. And you have no idea what I've been through this weekend. Um, to think I'm just here to help people. And then I get treated this way. It makes me feel like crap, no matter what age you are, no matter what you're going through in life, no matter how successful you all may think I feel inside, um, this breaks me down. So I know it's supposed to just roll off my back like water on a duck's feathers, um, but honestly, it does not at times just roll off my back. It hurts me. And... My kids see it hurt me. <laughs> and thank you to Landon who has commented on my stone, my autism love tutorial. My my 15 year old took the time to comment and he knows what I go through and he knows how hard I work. So I wanted to bring this tutorial to you. To those of you who I may have offended um, it's a beautiful symbol, this beautiful um, 
neurodiversity symbol, the rainbow colored infinity. It's beautiful. I just didn't know about it. Um, when I literally Google autism artwork or uh, autism awareness or autism logo, what do I see when I search that? Google it for yourself. Uh, search it for yourself and see what you see. And you'll understand why I represented the puzzle piece in my heart shape. Um, I'm, I did it without knowing that this symbol was offensive to some. So this is for those of you who I offended. This is for those of you who like the infinity symbol, who like rainbows, who like glitter, who like gold, because that's what I'm here for. Um, I'm not going to stop. This makes me want to stop. It makes me regret the time I take away from my family. Um, but there are so many of you that are so kind and so supportive and so loving. You all wrapped your arms around me and, and gave me your love. So thank you all for that. And I'm sorry if this is an emotional one. Uh, you guys know the ones who've been with me all this time. You guys know I'm just here to share with you fun things and um, maybe boost your your confidence in your abilities, in your, in your creative soul. Um, I'm never here to upset anybody. So you guys know that. Um, I also do this for free. I do this without um, even asking for a dime. Uh, you don't see a, a PayPal link in my description if you want to send me money. I've never once asked you guys for anything. Um, your support is all I need. Your love, your the time you take and the, the pictures you send to me, the, the support you give me, the confidence you give me to keep going is really just enough for me. So um, I'm not here to upset anybody. I'm here to include everyone as much as possible. And anyone who knows me or my channel for any length of time knows what I'm made of. And um, I appreciate all of you. So thank you so much. Um, I want you to love this one. I want you to love my puzzle piece as well because of the meaning that I put behind it. Because of the heart and soul I put into it for um, for autism awareness. Um, so I hope none of this has upset anyone. I hope that everyone can still enjoy this tutorial as much as any of my other ones because I really don't want it to be a crappy one, if you know what I mean. So as you can see, I'm doing what I usually do, blending with sponges. I'm blending from one color to the next on top of a white infinity symbol. Now you can see I didn't use any tools to create the symbol, so it's not going to be a perfect infinity symbol. Um, I just sketched it on there with white paint so that it was a nice primed surface so that this color stands out beautifully um, in the end. And you know, once you see it resin, which a lot of you have already seen it because I did send a sneak peek last night. Um, I was going to put this tutorial up yesterday, but the um, cruelness of some caused a delay uh, until today. So I apologize, guys. I, I've been wanting to put uh, tutorials up every couple of days so that you guys are, are busy and, and um, inspired on a constant basis. So um, I've got a couple coming to you. Uh, the next one is going to be fun. So I hope you're excited. Um, I might even post it tomorrow so that um, we can get over all of this stuff and move on to some exciting new creations together. So uh, I'm using a different sponge or a cleaned sponge with every color. Don't use the same sponge with the red that you're going to use with the orange and the yellow because it's not going to work out. Um, when you switch to a new color, 
I usually use two sponges. So I'll go red and then I'll add some orange and I might have to go back over top of the orange with some more red. So I usually keep two sponges going at the same time, but constantly clean your sponges or get a whole bunch of sponges so you don't have to be cleaning them the whole time you're painting your stone because that's just not fun, right? <laughs> I have a lot of ratty, old, yucky sponges that I use to create um, my stones. So I'm trying to use the clean ones for you guys. Uh, but most of my supply is a mess <laughs> and probably needs to be replaced as well. Um, I will list all of the paint colors that I'm using, the red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green. I'm using teal, and then I moved from the teal onto blue, bright blue. Uh, now I'm adding perfect purple, but I'm also going to highlight the very end of the infinity symbol with a little bit of um, neon magenta, which is from Martha Stewart. But like I said, all of these paint colors will be listed in the description for you. That way you can refer to that. Um, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, guys. I've tried to place the uh, watermark at the bottom corner of your videos. Sometimes you can't see them. If, you're, if you tilt your phone sideways and you look at it in a wide view, you'll be able to see that watermark there. But when you hold your phone up in a normal view, uh, you won't see the, the watermark. It's a little strange, but laptops, tablets, you should be able to see um, the watermark um, so that you can just hit the subscribe button right there. So I just want to thank you all again for subscribing over 47,000 now and I'm just in shock. I'm glad to see that when I woke up this morning that those numbers did not go down because of my um, drama regarding the puzzle stone. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all. Thank you all. You guys are just so supportive just such an amazing group of people that I just cannot live without I will not give up um, but I will not lie and it does make me feel like why do I do this <laughs> you know it does and I know you guys understand that but um, I just want everyone to know that I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings I am here to help I'm here to inspire I'm here to create colorful, bold, beautiful, sparkling things. And um, I know the majority of you are so appreciative of it. And I wish my voice would stop shaking because <laughs> I'm actually feeling okay right now after all your warm hugs. So um, I just want to let you guys know I love you all. You know this. I say it every time. Um, but especially at times like this where I feel defeated and deflated and knocked down, um, you guys raise me up and you are an amazing bunch of people and I love you and I'm so thankful. So no matter what you see, um, there was no ill intent. Um, and I am deleting and blocking these naysayers as we speak, so... I appreciate those of you who have who have stuck by me. So thank you. And I hope you love this stone as well because it's very beautiful. And there should be... Um, I, I did want to offer options. I just didn't know about this one. So um, in no way do I want this symbol to offend anyone. And um, if it does, please just... You don't have to paint this. You don't have to watch this video. You don't have to tell other people not to paint it. Let them decide. Um, just move along if this, if this is something that you're not interested in. But those who are, thank you. And I love you. So, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of gold and glitter to this. But first, I'm going to clean it all up by um, outlining it all in black because I did sponge outside of the white lines a little bit. I might do my black line a little bit thicker, um, but you do what you need to do with yours to clean it up. Uh, once this black is dry, I'm going to add glitter and a gold outline. So it it's, it's with the theme of things. You guys know me. Um, I don't want to walk away from this gorgeous infinity 
a symbol without glitter um, and without gold. I just can't. You can see my son actually came in here and said he liked my rock and stuck his greasy chip finger <laughs> on the front of it. So, um, yeah, this is... Th that that greasy spot's going to go away very soon once I resin it. <laughs> now I am using Dragonfly Glaze. You guys have seen me use this in a lot of my stones lately. Um, it is a, like... Um, it's hard to explain. It's rainbow colored glitter and it's very, very fine and it's holographic. So you turn it a certain way, you can see all the rainbows, uh, rainbow colors in it. It's just beautiful. And I thought it was absolutely perfect for this one. Um, so I am covering the whole thing in a light layer of glitter. Make sure all your colors are dry first. Make sure your black paint is dry so you don't nick that and and drag it across your beautiful rainbow somewhere. Um, and I just do a nice thin layer or else it'll get a little bit foggy. I uh, just want to make sure all my glitter is evenly across the stone. And no matter what color you've put in there, it will look good with it. Like this, th there's a rainbow of colors in this glitter. Um, there are other types of dragonfly glaze, but I actually don't own any other ones at this time. I will look for them soon and see if I can and do a tutorial for you guys with another color. Um, but for now, this one just kind of goes with everything and it's holographic. It, it just, it's beautiful. Um, so it is Dragonfly Glaze from Folk Art. I did get mine at Michael's. You can get them at Walmart as well as on Amazon in Canada. Um, sometimes they're pricey on Amazon, but I've been lucky enough to find them at Michael's and it's number 44380. It's a full spectrum shift of rainbow. So it's perfect for any rainbow stones you decide to do. I thought it would be making this one super special. So it will uh, be noticeably beautiful in the end portion <laughs> of this video because uh, you will see it resined and all that beauty is magnified times 100. <laughs> so I, um, I know that this has seemed like a bit of a downer, this video. I hope that you guys walk away with inspiration. I hope you walk away knowing that I love you all and that um, just keep going. No matter what, there are people out there that understand and get it and love you and just keep going. So that's what I am doing and it's because of you guys. So thank you all for your support, including my amazing son, Landon, who commented as well on the puzzle piece video. Um, he has the biggest heart in the world and it really bothers him when he sees me being, you know, People come, come for me. You know, sometimes people come for me and it's for silly reasons. It's for ridiculous things. People have actual problems going on in their life. And this is what you have spent your time on. Like it, do, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm glad that it doesn't make sense to my 15 year old son as well, because I know he's not a bully. He's nothing but uh, a ball of love. So I appreciate every single one of you who support me and I can't wait for you to see this resin. It's just going to be eye candy for days. <laughs> I do have, you can probably hear right now, Maple. Hello, Maple. She might say hello or she might say Monroe, which is one of my other cats. She says Monroe and it's, it's very clear. Say Monroe. Monroe. There you go. She said it. <laughs> I got it on tape, guys. <laughs> uh, she's such a sweetheart. Uh, so I am outlining this all in gold. Make sure you can still see your black line that separates the infinity symbol at the center there. And just clean it up. If you got some thickness in the gold, just clean it up with some black paint. Um, I go all the way around the outside with black paint as well. So, and I'm leaving my stone natural. 
Um, I'm lucky. I do have a lot of beautiful stones here in, in uh, northern Ontario that I have access to. They're just gorgeous. Um, but this stone is going to go almost completely black with a little bit of white flicks in it. Um, so I'm not changing my stone at all. I'm not doing something funny to the background. This is the natural stone and it just changes a lot and goes super dark when I, uh, seal it with resin. So I apologize if you can hear Maple yelling for Monroe in the background. <laughs> I don't know where Monroe is. I know he's sleeping somewhere. If you've been to my Instagram, Rachel's Rocks 11, you've probably seen pictures of my cats. <laughs> My kids and my cats and, of course, my amazingly handsome husband. So I'm still cleaning up, as you can see. Um, I hope that I was able to still explain this tutorial properly through all of my sobbing. Um, basically, you start with a white infinity and you blend the colors. You can dot it. You can paint the infinity symbol black and dot it in a rainbow if that's easier than blending. Um, but if you're blending, use clean sponges for every color. Don't mix the colors together because it looks like mud. <laughs> Nobody likes mud. <laughs> I have a feeling that if I made a mud rock, people would really bully me for some reason. <laughs> oh, so I am going to probably just sign the back of this one. I'm going to leave the infinity all to itself. Um... It's beautiful. I don't want to take away from its beauty by putting my signature on the front of this. So I'm just going to put my signature on the back and we are going to resin. That chippy fingerprint's going to disappear real fast. <laughs> my kids do like to touch my rocks. At, sometimes it's like, no, here it is, guys. You've seen it on Facebook. I did show you a little sneaky peek, um, but uh, it's beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I think what it stands for, uh, neurodiversity, autism awareness, I think it's beautiful. Uh, in no way do I want this to offend anyone, and I hope those of you who didn't like my puzzle piece can actually paint this one and, and appreciate this one. So everything... I do is for all of you and I want all of you to be happy. So I love you guys. Thank you again and uh, keep painting. I'll see you soon.